What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Welcome to Oh So Simplified. Coming to you with the video here. This is kind of just off the cuff. I just know I have to post something. Um, have some housekeeping I'll put at the end. But this is about how you do it. Um, how you do anything is how you do everything. It's something I've heard many times. It's actually also a Buddhist saying as well. And the whole idea about this is that um, you know exactly what it says. How you do anything is how you do everything. Um, and I'll start off with the first point here. I have kind of three points. Then the first one is trying to sum up the statement um, as saying life is interconnected. Everything is connected. Um, you know, you can't be a liar in one area of your life and then be super honest in another. It will always bleed over. Any lagging, and this is something Cardone actually talks about a lot, any lagging part of your life will interfere with the um productive parts of your life it'll always catch up you always hear about you know the billionaire that you know loses all their money and because they're not great at picking the right spouse or um you know the billionaire that is uh like rick ross says what good is all the wealth when you're shitting on yourself it's like you don't have your health and you're fat and you're out of shape but you got all the money in the world or um what if you're the best looking dude you got all the girls going after you but you got AIDS like there's plenty of things where if there's any area of your life that is not going well it will eventually creep into those other areas and I think that's something very important because in this day and age you hear things like monk mode and a lot of those things um and not that there isn't a time and place for you know, just being very focused and unbalanced in the sense that, you know, for 30 days, I'm, I'm just focused on this. Um, but to think that you can compartmentalize your life to fit how you're feeling um, psychologically is kind of um, uh, naive, I guess is the best word. It's naive and it's just not something that you're going to really be able to do. And... Um, understanding that everything is interconnected and I've noticed like if I'm not having bad workouts I will have you know a more lethargic performance at work I have a more lethargic um, just kind of disposition to the day uh, when my workouts are on point you know things are going better same thing though too even with um, my relationships and with women when things are going clicking on all cylinders in my life it feels like maybe it's the law of attraction maybe it's just my vibration i don't know what you want to call it but like when i'm putting in the work in my life i feel like everything goes up and as long as you're not neglecting anything um that's the way it should feel and that kind of gets into my second point of getting into a rut generally when you get into a rut it's like you've let certain things slip by the wayside a lot of the times what you end up letting slip by the wayside are, are things that are kind of like the more personal things um such as you know maybe budgeting your finances maybe um you know and, and tracking what you spend you know eating right working out sleeping right you know taking time to kind of decompress and a lot of those types of things are generally the first things we cut out and they're the ones that are going to have the biggest effect on all of this like how are you going to you know expect to go to work and be effective there if you're not taking care of the the vestibule that is providing you the production um so that's key and, and what i've noticed about getting out of rut because the last couple of weeks i was like a little bit in a rut where i realized that you know my workouts weren't right um you know my eating was a little bit off um there's some other things as well uh, but the biggest thing to do i've realized is to one be aware of it be aware that things are going down two don't get too on yourself but then three focus on something that you can control something that you can kind of take hold of for me it always starts with waking up and, and working out like once i can get my body to just feel that like little bit of soreness that little bit of tiredness in my body it, it's like a signal that goes in my brain that's like you know we got to start being productive we got to do this we got to do that we got to do this so that would definitely be my main focus is to grab some get get a grasp on something that you do do well um that you can have control over because there's so many things that could be going out of place in your life and, and focus on that to get you out of the rut and realize once again how you do anything is how you do everything so you have to keep like the kids like to say these days keep that same energy when you're doing things whether it's things you want to do whether it's things you don't want to do 
if, if you have to do them. You know, you want to keep that same energy and not slack off on anything. You slack off on your workout, you're going to slack off in your work, you're going to slack off in your dating, and you're going to slack off in, um, you know, in, in keeping your finances right. So try to keep that same energy with everything, and that's how you can get out of the rut. And the last thing I want to touch on is a big concept from Stephen Pressfield, which is the idea of the professional versus the amateur. And um, in his book, The War of Art, he kind of really talks about this and he talks about this. Um, he almost names it as an enemy called resistance. And it's basically the thing that is pulling you to not do the thing you need to do in whatever realm it could be. And what the professional does versus the amateur is the professional does what they have to do when they have to do it whether they feel like it or not and the amateur kind of gives into the whims and they're they're more focused on the motivation um and i don't want to go too deep into these whole um you know classifications of, of groups but i do want to kind of just focus on one quote he says about the professional he goes when you turn professional and when he's saying professional is not necessarily like becoming uh actual certified pro in anything it's just like a mindset that you're going to do what you need to do when you need to do it He's like, life gets very simple. And that's kind of why I even named this channel and changed the name to Oh So Simplified is because in this day and age, there is so much going at you. You know, you hear about this person thinks this way and that person thinks this way. One person is telling you, save your money. Other person saying, save it, stupid. You got to invest your money. Other person saying, hold your cash and, and, and make a big play on a bigger investment. You know, one person is saying leverage debt to get good cash on cash returns. The other person says debt is evil and it's going to make you broke. You know, one person is saying that you should never talk to all any women. Women are terrible and you should go your own way. Another person is telling you that you got to pop a certain color pill. And then another person is telling you that there's no such thing as theory. It's only game. And it's like, it is too much for you to consume. And that's where you got to start to go to yourself and be like, I got to simplify this. What is my goals? What am I trying to do? And what are the few things I can focus on and focus on as a professional? Do what I need to do when I need to do it and kind of eliminate or at, at the very least dim down or mute in some kind of way the um, other noise that you're hearing out there because that's what it needs to be. The professional's life is very simple. They know what they need to do. They're not pulled in all these other directions. They don't get this shiny eye syndrome where like something flicks in their eye and now they gotta you know, do something new. And I feel like this is a little bit all over the place, but it, as I mentioned, it was, it was a very off the cuff type of inner, or not interview, type of uh, video. Um, but that's kind of where I'm really at, kind of even just simplifying even more in my life, especially when I'm looking at uh, things are probably going to be going back to normal in the next few months as far as like commuting, having to go to an office and kind of things in that, that, uh, that nature um, that, you know, you want to be out of the ruts, you want to be at a good productive type of position when, you know, things open back up and you got to start doing things, um, as well. And, uh, understand how you do anything is how you do everything. So then I have the little housekeeping in here. So for me, I was trying to do like three channels at the same time and post all these videos. And it was just like, it just started to pile up mentally. As I mentioned, I'm going to keep everything very transparent on this video about my thought process. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all of the concepts I was going to do on those videos and just going to do it like just triple down on this channel. So instead of like posting once a week, I could post more. And instead of feeling like once again, keeping it simple that I'm pulled in all these other directions, trying to do these other concepts, I could just focus on doubling down on this. Uh, so that's kind of the housekeeping. So those other channels, I'm probably going to obviously keep them up. I'm not going to delete them, but I'm not going to use them right now. Really, all I'm trying to get into is just that, that fucking habit, that, that consistency to kind of just put stuff up constantly so people can come up and, and watch, you know, what I got to do. Um, so you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. You with the vibe welcome to the tribe and until next time if you dislike it put that up too any feedback will do and until next time you know what it is